Hello. People often ask me how on earth do I come up with ideas for blogging every day. Well it's actually quite easy if you have a plan and so I thought what I'd do is I'd take you through the process that I use to ensure that I've always got plenty of ideas to write about in my blog and never have to sit facing a blank screen. When you start out on blogging, a good thing to do is to have a plan, an editorial plan, a schedule of the kind of things you're going to do, uh, because that means you don't sit in front of your blogging software wondering what on earth you're going to write about. You can see here that I've got my plan for July, and if you look down the, the days, we've got uh, the days across the top here, if you look down Mondays, it's always about online business, Tuesdays always about blogging, Wednesdays always about internet marketing and so on as we go through the week. So what I've done is I've allocated a particular theme to each day. That makes it easy for me to decide what to produce. Then what I do is I look at the kinds of topics that I could cover on each of those themes and I just insert them into the particular area. And there'll be some things that will trigger ideas. For instance, here on the 21st of July is the day on which the final Harry Potter book becomes available and clearly that's going to be a big seller online so that would be a good thing for me to write about considering I write about online shopping on Saturdays It'd be a good idea for me to write about that Harry Potter book and the selling of books online. Now if you want a calendar like this in which you can easily insert your things uh, your ideas for whatever you're going to do for your blog uh, all you need to do is go along to, this is in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, but if you go over here to the Microsoft Office Online um, website, which is office.microsoft.com, if you visit that website, choose um, products, Excel products, and choose calendars. Up here you can see there's a temporary category of calendars. Uh, you can scroll down to choose whichever one you particularly like. I chose uh, this one here, that's the design that I particularly liked, but you could choose any one. All you do is click on the link here and then you've got that template available to change. And so I just open that up in Excel here and you can see that I have now know what I'm going to be writing about in my blog every day for the entire month. And so towards the end of each month I'll make my plan for the next month and obviously I'll just copy across my keywords here just to remind me when I'm looking at my plan that they're the kind of keywords that I need to use in my blog when I'm writing it. So that's the, the first part about planning. Having themes for each day and then looking within those themes for things that you could write about. But where do you get ideas? I've obviously said that there are some things that stick out like the Harry Potter day here. Bastille Day, the 14th of July, obviously something I could do about France on those days. Um, but where else might I find things that I could link to specific days? Well, one good place to go to is Expert Sources. So if you go to expertsources.co.uk and register, you'll see that it includes a whole list here of news events. So things that are happening on particular days plus particular anniversaries and all of these give you a good idea of the kind of things that you might be able to link your blog to. So signing up with expert sources not only gets your name out there as an expert but it gives you access to this list of uh, events, dates, anniversaries and so on that you could possibly use to insert into your particular blog. So if we scroll down here, here it is, it's bound to say here the publication of the seventh and final Harry Potter book confirmed there for the 21st of July. But there are some other things here. Here's an interesting one. Look on the 15th. The London Underground ceases payments by cheque. They've decided to stop taking payments by cheque at the London Underground. And that triggered a thought for me that I ought to write something about payment systems in the future kind of payment systems that might be accepted. So on the very day, if we click across here to my uh, plan, you can see that on Sunday the 15th of July, when I'm going to be writing about the future of the internet, I'm going to be writing about the future payment systems we might have 
and be able to link that to the topical story of the fact that the underground is no longer accepting checks. Many places no longer accept checks, so are we going to see the end of checks? And if so, what kind of future payment systems are going to be there? So expert sources will often trigger particular ideas for future blogs. If you want to be more sophisticated than this, then I suggest you look at the year ahead. Now here's the website for the year ahead, and this provides comprehensive data about conferences, about events, about all sorts of activities happening on a particular days, particular weeks, particular months. It's quite expensive. It'll cost you about £765 a year to subscribe to this, but the information it provides you is absolutely fantastic. Here is a, a, a little sample. Here's just a PDF sample of what's available online. Of course, it's interactive. You can click on links like this and so on, but here's a PDF example of uh, some pages uh, telling us what's going to happen uh, on particular dates and full of information including names of people, telephone numbers, website contacts, email addresses and a whole host of other data that can help you decide what kind of things to link to in your blog. So if you want to make your blog topical then this kind of uh, information in the year ahead is immensely valuable. So those are kinds of ideas that you can get information about upcoming events either the year ahead or expert sources here. But you may want to make your blog topical to events that are happening online and one good way of doing this is with Google Alerts. And if you go to google.com alerts um, you can set up an alert so you type in here the terms that you want to uh, get people to, to send you information on, get Google to send you information on. Let's say we wanted something on the future of, of the internet. You can see I've already typed that in once. Um, I can either get it to search everything or just news or just blogs or just the web or just Google groups or all of those. I can get it to tell me once a day as it happens, as something new arrives on the internet, I can get an alert and I can also have it once a week if I wish. I set mine to once a week. You put your email address in here, click an alert, and what happens then is that in your email inbox you get Google alerts like this. So you can see that it sends you an alert of all the kinds of phrases that you've been looking for and it gives you web links to click through to all the new kinds of bits of information that have arrived uh, into the Google index um, so you can be updated with all the specific topics that you wish to be updated on. So you can then use those to insert those into your calendar so that you can have a good idea by using Google Alerts, by using forward planning systems, you've then got me a means of finding information to write about. There is one other way of doing that um, and that's to look at publications, printed publications, another excellent way of finding information for your particular uh, blog. And so here are just a few of the publications, periodicals and journals that I have a look at every week just to give me ideas for blogs that I'm going to be writing about. Happy blogging!